Now, Stargazing Live is back on BBC Two late this evening, and to celebrate, our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is reporting on astronomy all this week. Well, tonight he has the story of Carl Jones from Stourbridge, who's joined the growing ranks of enthusiasts who've managed to send a video camera to the edge of space, because space is closer than you might think. Rather remote but beautiful beach in Wales to prove a bit of a point, that wherever you are in the Midlands, you're probably closer to the edge of space than you are to, say, Manchester or London. So, on our lilac launch pad on Barmouth Beach, the countdown is underway and it's time to pack the payload. We've got hand warmers, which gets very cold up there, like minus 50 degrees C, um, and importantly, the camera. What's this silver inside? Uh, that's just a bit of um, thermal blanket, so um, it'll reflect it. radar. Um, so right. If it's in the path of a flying aircraft, they'll, they'll, they'll realise there's something there, yeah. And there is a parachute? There is a parachute. We need a parachute, but parachutes are rather expensive, so we made one out of an umbrella and it works. Throw in a tracker to locate the payload after landing and an onboard experiment and we're good for launch. Now last year on Stargazing Live we reported on the Midlands amateur rocket enthusiasts. Two, one, launch. But Carl isn't using a rocket today. He's going to reach the edge of space with a balloon. This is actually Carl's second balloon launch. The first was in the summer from the Long Mind, complete with TARDIS. This time he's using even more helium. But you might be wondering why he just doesn't launch the balloon from his back garden in Stourbridge as opposed to Shropshire or Wales. Well, it's all to do with the winds. So we're doing this on a beach in Wales because on the internet you can find websites that will tell you where to launch your balloon so it'll land pretty much where you want it, in this case around Evesham rather than say on the M6 or in the centre of Birmingham. We don't want this thing to land on a motorway, on an airport or GCHQ where it nearly landed last time. <laughs> and with that, it's time for launch. There's a GPS tracker in there, so um, when it gets a bit lower later on, that'll start sending a message saying where it is, and we head there and we try and find it. Six hours later, and the weather at our predicted landing site has certainly deteriorated. Finding the balloon in this fog will be difficult, especially as it's not actually here at the predicted landing site in Gloucestershire. It's 60 miles away in Newbury in Berkshire. It's down and it's not travelling. We know we pretty much exactly where it is to within five metres. We've just got to go and retrieve it. So it might be somebody's back garden. It, apparently it is. <laughs> and here's where the capsule ended up. It took a few days for Carl to retrieve it from the tree, but once he got it back, we could see our flight to the edge of space. Oh, he's a handsome chap there. So with a weather balloon, some hand warmers for heat, and a cheap and cheerful video camera, you can fly your TARDIS or whatever you like all the way to the edge of space. Just remember recovering the capsule afterwards might take a bit longer. Gosh, fascinating. Things certainly, certainly looking up with all this stargazing. Stargazing Live with Dara O'Brien and Professor Brian Cox back on BBC Tonight, BBC Two at 8 o'clock.